Hi everyone, I wanted to speak on a topic that no one has really elaborated on since Kamala Harris's uh, DNC speech. And that is how so many on the right were like, oh, I could vote for her because she doesn't seem aggrieved or I can vote for her because she doesn't talk about how she's black or I can vote for her because she's not woke or she didn't seem woke or she seemed more Republican or a hundred different things, but she didn't seem Republican to a lot of them or, or didn't seem like a Democrat to a lot of them because she didn't talk about her, you know, what she went through as a person who suffered through racism as someone who was had to go through to desegregated schools. And guess what? I was born in you know, 1969, so I was on telling a lot of that, and there was still a lot of Jim Crow practice when I was young. I've, I've seen some things that could turn your hair, but that's neither here nor there. Um, and I find that weird. It's as if people don't understand the difference between being aggrieved about a black person having a job and people speaking to their oppression, and there's a difference. And no, I don't want to be nice speaking about my oppression it's like can you just not be so angry about the fact that so many young black people die or so many indigenous women disappear don't be so angry about it because you're gonna turn people off with all that anger can you be really sweet about how you know women are raped and or can we just not talk can, if we talk about it in hushed tones and be really cool about it? no no you know they're asking an oppressed people to be, um, to participate in our own marginalization and to never speak on an elephant in the room on any given day. I used to do that. I don't anymore because doing it the other way is why we're still here. We need to bang the gong. There are young indigenous women who are missing, not accounted for, that no one's looking at. I don't think you can be really nice and polite about that kind of thing. And how dare people act as if there's something wrong with people talking about glass ceilings or talking about the fact that these things exist. That's the problem. Okay, that is the problem. I'm glad that the way she wrote the speech and the way she spoke made them feel comfortable. But I do believe that there's happy warriors and then they're just warriors. And the warriors are going to, you know, tell it like it is. Straight. No chaser. We need those two. The firebrands. We need those two. So, yeah. I just had to speak on that because that was driving me nuts. Love you.